be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be giving you three different ways you can flip trap samples in Logic Pro. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, first thing we're gonna do is go to Splice and I'm gonna pick out a sample here. So that's pretty dope. Let's go ahead, take this and drag it into the workspace window. First thing you want to do after you drop your samples in the workspace window is go ahead and time stretch and make sure it matches up. So you just click there, click here, and basically you want to just either go with a four bar or eight bar loop and just drag it out to that bar. So boom, that's an eight bar loop, just drag it out, extend it, and now it should be locked in place. So this is going to be the first thing you want to do is actually put it in a quick sampler. Once you put it in a quick sampler, you can go to this slice mode right here, messing around with the transients, the beat divisions, you know what I'm saying? And now we can come over here, open up our piano and play the sample like this. You can also come over here and play it forward or reverse it. <laughs> of course, you wanna make sure that you go over here and put the follow tempo on here so it also matches up whatever with, with, with whatever BPM you have. So that's gonna be the first way is just basically to put it into the quick sampler, chop it up that way, okay? The second way that you can flip um, trap samples in Logic is actually by coming over here, right clicking, and using processing to use the stem splitter. It's gonna basically drop it by vocals, drums, bass, other. And now we have all of the different individual stems of that individual um, sample here. So I turn this off. This is gonna just be the vocals. Just the, just the drums. Looks like they have something else over here. And this makes it pretty easy to like maybe take certain parts out. Like say if I don't like the drums, I can take that part out. So I can take these samples now, move it down here. Maybe put this vocal down here as well. All right, cool. So now we have the two two samples that we want from the sample, which is going to be these two. And now I can take these and highlight them, bounce them in place by right clicking and go bounce in place. And now we have a brand new sample here that doesn't have the drums, so this kind of helps it make it easier to flip this sample. All right, so now we're going to talk about the third way to flip samples, and that's actually by adding effects. One of the cool things you could do is use like you know your stock effects here in Logic Pro. Go to the multi effects. You can use this Beat Breaker plugin. You can also come over here and double it up by coming and using another plugin from the multi effects, which is going to be this uh, step effects. This is a pretty dope plugin. <laughs> Stop it, stop it. 
Then you can bounce that in place as well. And now you have a new, brand new sample here for the most part. And then you can do a combination of the you know, tips here, you know, throwing it back into the quick sampler. Reverse it. Chop it up. Anyway, y'all, that's going to be today's video. Let me know if you like this uh, video. Um, make sure you hit that thumbs up if you do. Also, get you, get subscribed to the channel if, you, um, if you're brand new or whatever. Check out the free offer in the link below, and I'll see you in the next video.